What's up guys, it's Paralyzer here and today I wanted to have some sort of discussion regarding Grounded Playgrounds mode uh, inside of the game. Now this is a thing that released um, in 1.3 of course and there's a very mixed opinions about it. I talked about this in my tier list recently. So we're going to go to the download section here and I kind of just want to create a discussion and um, give some sort of like feedback on it for the devs to improve upon it. Maybe they change some of this stuff in 1.4 and a lot of it will get fixed but we will see. So if we go into recent hits, for example, um, some of these maps, they have a lot of downloads, like 1,000 downloads, 500 downloads, uh, 400 downloads on this one, two, 300 on this one. Some of them, they're really, really cool. We go to monthly hits. I'm sure there's a lot here that have a lot of downloads. Let's go to all-time hits. Let's look at some of the all-time grounded maps. Um, I've played a lot of these maps. I'm pretty sure I've played this. It's a decent map. It's pretty good. Dungeons and Dragonflies, I played this map, didn't quite understand it or really like it that much. Gonna be honest, that's just my opinion. Uh, Only Down, this is Jade's map, obviously. Played this map, great map, very easy to understand. The Tower from um, Apex, another great map that I've played. But if we keep going down and looking through more and more maps, there are certain things you will notice um, if we go to the next page here, you know. We're, we're still in the high downloads of maps, it's not like we have nothing. These have 2,000 downloads, some of these maps. Um, I'm going to find Creature Castle, Five Nights, a really good map. This map here, for example, Call of Duty Zombies. Very good title for a map. This is really appealing, right? Let's download this map um, uh, to give you some sort of example. And let's find another map, the New Backyard, Five Nights at Ominent. There's some really, really spicy, good titles here, you know, titles that make you want to download the map. Combat Arena, Grounded DLC clicker game a clicker game sounds like fun these are maps i've played majority of these maps this map here as you saw page three of the most downloaded maps and this is exactly the problem when it comes to the playgrounds mode inside of grounded we load this up this is one of the top i think 30 most downloaded maps of all time this is the map you click a button and a counter goes up I could make this in two minutes. The reason the map has so many downloads is because of the title. It's clickbait, obviously. It says clicker game. You think it's going to be like a cookie clicker game, right? It's not. It's just some low tier clicking game where you click a button and it does nothing. This zombies map is the same. It's a small map with a few robots around and it just spawns more robots. There's no wall buys. There's no mystery box. There's no pack a punch. It's just running around and killing Tay's T's. That's all the map is. It's not really Call of Duty Zombies. And this is the big problem with Playgrounds and Grounded is it's just based on downloads. So if you have a good title and a good thumbnail here, your map will get loads of downloads. If I give you an example, this Cage Wars map has an amazing thumbnail. It's got a great title and it has 5,000 downloads. The difference is this map's really good. I've played it. It's an amazing map. But the thumbnail is what makes it so captivating. The reason that this is a huge issue, though, is it's sorted by downloads. There's no upvote, downvote. If there was a new system where you could upvote, downvote maps, then you could sort by the ones that are most upvoted, which in turn are actually going to be good maps, unlike the system of most downloads, where it's just the most clickbait maps getting to the top of the lists here. Another one of the huge issues here with grounded playgrounds is if I go ahead and create a new playground right now, and we go into the grass box and we go through all the settings here, there's no settings to do with grass, which sounds a bit stupid, doesn't it? But let's just make some random world here, and you will see when I load this up, there's grass everywhere. This is a pretty big issue. It sounds stupid, but there's there should just be a tick box that you can turn off to remove all of this grass. Some of us don't want the grass everywhere. Um, same with the plant fibre. There should be a little tick box that says spawn in the plant fibre on the map or not. And if you turn it off, there's no plant fibre spawning. Because this is a problem for people who want big open areas. You have to go and manually clear out all of this grass. For example, I did download a map that I found. Um, if I go to continue here, off of um, Nexus Mods, which is a site that you can find playgrounds on. And... It's right here, all deletable objects deleted. If I go into this map in design mode right now, you'll see that this person manually decided, okay, I mean, it's a bit different. I did delete the floor on this one as well. Oh no, we're good. I was just on the map. 
Um, you can see that this person decided to remove everything. Which, you know, if this was an option to spawn this in, would kind of be good, because some people just want an empty map. Now, I think I've destroyed more than you are usually able to destroy, but literally everything is gone. Like, there's a dandelion, which he probably accidentally left or regrew or something, but everything else has disappeared, which is ju just should be an option by default. So I think the biggest improvement that they need to make in the new update is number one, an upvote and downvote system. Number two, a way to disable the grass and the plant fiber. And number three, categories. Every map, if I go on to these, these maps here again, it has categories, survival, single or multiplayer, but there's no filters. <laughs> so if I want to go and look for the best all time escape room map, for example, adventure RPG. Okay, it's not this one. Adventure RPG, platforming, combat challenge, survival, adventure, it's this one, which is an escape room. This was made before the tags were in the game, though. I would have to scroll through all of these pages of maps until I eventually find one that's tagged with, like, escape room, puzzle escape room. There we go. We found one. But do you see how long that took? Whereas if there was a filter, I could just filter it, search by escape rooms, all-time hits, boom. Very first one, they'd all be escape rooms, right? It just makes sense. Having a brand new tab is, is cool. Um, yeah, I don't mind this tab. And another problem I had, I tried, I probably streamed for a week or two, playing playground maps the whole time nonstop. And the biggest issues I ran into in playground maps, for those of you who are building them yourself, number one issue is a map that just doesn't work or where you forget to change the settings before you publish it. So creature health is on like zero or bugs ignore players is on or something, some silly setting that just ruins the entire map. Um, another one is not having things work properly like spawn points or like just mechanics in general breaking inside of your map. And then a big one is no explanation. If I spawn into a map and I just have to go forward and there's no text telling me like, yo, welcome to the map. This is what the map's about. This is what you have to do. This is your objective. Then I'm just going to be lost instantly. I'm not going to have a clue what's going on. Those are some big issues inside of the maps inside of Grounded, but those are more um, the issues of people creating the maps, not the issues of the developers inside of the game. But like I say, those are just some ideas I have for things that really need to be changed um, inside of Grounded. We might see that changed in 1.4, although I do know that it is heavily centered around survival, so probably not going to change. I know a lot of people don't even care about playgrounds to begin with, um, which is kind of another huge issue in itself, is they released a playgrounds mode in a game which doesn't really have enough players to support a playgrounds mode. There's just not enough people playing maps. Like, if I go to the all-time hits like I did before, on the very first page, the most downloaded map, 27,000. Number two, 12,000. Like, 27,000 downloads is nothing to be scoffed at, don't get me wrong. But it's not, like, hundreds of thousands, do you know what I mean? 27,000 for the very most downloaded map is not that high. There's just not enough people playing Grounded to support a Playgrounds mode where everyone is playing each other's maps. It just, just doesn't exist. It's not a thing. There's not enough filters. There's just... There's so much missing. Like, even the custom thumbnails, you have to take the thumbnail inside of the game. You can't, like, make a thumbnail in Photoshop or Paint or something and then use that, which I can kind of understand because it would be pretty clickbait, right? But at the same time, it would make it a lot easier to make good thumbnails for your maps. So it's mixed opinion on that as well. But yeah, there's just not enough people that play Playgrounds and enjoy Playgrounds and just play Grounded in general. Um, so it doesn't create enough of a community. So there's not enough good maps, in my opinion, and enough people playing them and wanting to watch them as well. But that's just my opinion on Playgrounds. Let me know what you think they could do in the comments below and how they could fix it, because I just think there's so many different issues here um, to tackle, but I think the devs can only do so much, and it's kind of like a lost cause at this point, to be honest. Um, there's just not enough people interested in it for it to be worth putting their time into, in my opinion, but who knows, maybe that'll change in the future. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like on it. Leave your ideas in the comments below as to how Playgrounds could be fixed and what you think about Playgrounds. I know some people love it and a lot of people hate it. I'll see you in the next Grounded video. Have a great rest of your day.